Hello, welcome to Lawrence County History Corner. My name is Lori, and today we're talking a little bit about the steamboats that were so common of a site in Lawrence County on the Ohio River. Um, as I said, they were a very common site. The first steamboat built on the Ohio River was the New Orleans, which had a 400 ton, it was a 400 ton boat built in 1812. The riverboat age was brought about because the roads at the time were so difficult to travel, and the railroad had not been linked to all the towns and villages. Um, these boats prefer, was a preferred way to travel for comfort for most people, as well as a way to send mail, news, and products. Another common sight from the era were boat races. A lot of these boats, the captains wanted to prove that their boats were the best, and so um, they would often challenge each other to races on the river. Some races ended up being uh, ending in tragedy. Uh, one race that did occur was documented in the River News, Volume 1. The race was, was between the Chesapeake, captained by Uriah B. Scott, and the Fanny Dugan, captained by A.J. Jack McAllister. Of course, the races were not safe, and the resulting explosions often cost the lives of passengers, deckhands, and livestock. Um, steamboats were also often um, facing accidents that were caused uh, when the bo boilers received, became too high in temperature and pressure, and it caused an explosion of the boilers. Like most Water-faring crafts, water, weather, wind, flood, snags, ice, and a lack of water could cause accidents as well. And specific stories of disasters can be found in a series of books called the River News Books in our uh, genealogy department located uh, in, on the second floor of the Ironton Branch. Um, there are a variety of pictures of some of these boats as well as articles. If you are interested in learning more about the steamboats, you can go uh, to our genealogy department or give us a call at 740-532-1124. You will also find a variety of articles about Lawrence County history by going to our website at www.briggslibrary.com. Check out the genealogy link and its history and photos is where you'll find the most articles. I thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.